Hello and welcome back to Mr. Murray's engineering class where in today's video we are going to do the assembly of the biplane. So let's get started. We're going to click on my folder, click on the biplane folder. Here you can see we have all the parts built. We are going to create a new document. Caps lock, make sure caps lock is on. And it was not on, but it is now on. So assembly and hit create. <clears throat> so we're going to insert And now that we're in the biplane folder, we want the fuselage. I previously created a version, so I'm going to go ahead and not recreate that, but you would have to create a version. So I'm going to bring, I'm going to left click on the fuselage, bring that out here in the workspace. So if you had not created a version, Previously, if you had and you revised that version, you would need to take care of that here. Uh, that is the biggest portion of the biplane, so we want to fix that in place so it doesn't move. We want to fix that so it stays isometric. <clears throat> so here we can see that the fuselage is fixed. Uh, let's bring in our other parts. And most of these parts I have previously previously made a version of, um, except for a couple. So we'll bring in the propeller. And again, I'd already created a version, so that's why I can bring those in. But you, if you're doing this for the first time, you'd have to create that version, unless you're doing a second or similar. And I'm just randomly placing these uh, in the correct area, uh, getting ready for alignment. So that's about right. It lines up there. We're going to take color and move that up, and the axle and move that up. Come here to the front view, and just for alignment purposes, kind of bring everything in line. <coughs> Center that up, just center that up just a little bit. All right, we have the upper ring. Let's go for the lower wing.
and that's fine for the top view. We have one, two, three, four, five. The vertical and horizontal will be 67, and then the vertical support will be 8. That should be all of our parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We get the horizontal tail. So I guess I did have a version on everything until the assembly video crashed and burned, which we don't want to do in this part. And we do want the propeller to spin, so we're going to put a revolute mate on that. So we want to revolve. That circle. And say OK. And it does spin true to axis, which is correctly what we want. Okay, we're going to fasten that diameter, which is the propeller axle, to that diameter on the propeller. We're in good shape. Next, we are going to assemble the lower wing to the fuselage. And we are going to do that using a fasten mate and some math. So here in the x-axis we need to get the wing centered between the center of the wing and the center of the fuselage. As you'll remember the lower wing is 200 millimeters and the width of the fuselage is 32 millimeters. 200 minus 32 leaves 168. We divide that by 2 and that's 84 millimeters. And 84 millimeters in inches, since that is the value that is asking for us, we're going to offset, <coughs> excuse me, 3.3 30708. That will center our lower wing. We're going to offset from that face 
to that base. Actually, there's an easier way to put the lower wing into the airplane. It's just a fasten mate from the center of the top wing to the center of the fuselage. So we're going center to center. Move this out of the way for a second. The wing doesn't move. I'm going to move this up and out of the way. So now we want to fasten. So we're just fastening center to center. But asymmetric. So we have that side done. Now we'll do this side. Get me out of the way. and our last vertical support. Put their upper wing on. We're just going to go from cross corner to cross corner. So I use a slider mate in the Z axis first. So the Z axis is going up and down.
So I'm going to raise that up. Now we're going to put a slider mate crumb, this other cross crumb. Hit the escape key, I'm going to raise that up. Now we're going to fasten. That is the back to the back. sure that doesn't move. We're going to fasten from the center of that. Sure that doesn't move. Now to put the vertical tail on, we're going to fasten. I'll turn this around. Make sure we're on the side. We'll get that center point fastened to Nothing's coming loose. So we have the front, the isometric. And that, ladies and gentlemen, completes the assembly of the biplane. Now, on to our last project for the Thank you and good luck.